We're getting ready for the upcoming City Hall Council meeting of Tuesday, the 23rd day of July, 2019. From Farmers Branch City Hall, this is the 96th edition of Council Countdown on FBTV. Hello everyone, I'm Lauren Sanchez. During the next few minutes, we're going to go into detail on the upcoming City Council Consent Agenda and run down other items on the regular agenda at the solitary meeting for July. First up, after ceremonial items and a report on study session, members of the council will consider items placed on the consent portion of the agenda. There are 10 items on the July 23rd consent agenda. Agenda item I-1 is to consider approving the minutes of the June 18th council meeting. Agenda item I-2 is to consider approving resolution number 2019-082 authorizing the city manager to approve the purchase of six replacement vehicles in the total amount of $159,698 from Caldwell Country Chevrolet through the Tarrant County Purchasing Cooperative. The current fixed asset fund includes six replacement light duty vehicles for public works, parks and recreation, sustainability and public health, fire and police departments. The vehicles being replaced meet the recommended replacement criteria based on life cycle costs, age, and utilization. The city requested and evaluated quotes from the Tarrant County Purchasing Cooperative and desires to award the purchase to Caldwell Country Chevrolet. The budgeted amount for the six vehicles is $183,000. The quotations came in under budget at $158,698 and the difference of $23,302 will be used to outfit the vehicles with emergency lighting and equipment as necessary. City Administration recommends approval of resolution number 2019-082. Agenda item I-3 is to consider approving resolution number 2019-095 amending the development agreement between the City of Farmers Branch and CADG Mercer Crossing Holdings, LLC. A development agreement approved in 2017 provides for completion of certain development performance obligations by the developer prior to issuance of the specified single-family residential building permit threshold requirements. Due to delays incurred by the applicant in relation to their lake site dredging project, the applicant is requesting to modify the agreement in order to delay certain development performance obligations now to be completed before the issuance of the 451st and 600th single family residential permits instead of before the 301st permit issuance. The modification also allows the applicant to not construct a full-service hotel on the boardwalk track south of LBJ Freeway, nor the minimum 25,000 square feet of retail restaurant uses at the southeast corner of Valley View Lane and Luna Road. At their meeting on June 4th and June 18th, City Council provided direction related to the proposed development agreement amendments. The proposed development agreement is consistent with the direction provided by Council. Additionally, the proposed development agreement is subject to approval of the Companion Plan Development Number 99 Zoning District Amendment, also on this agenda. City Council recommends approval of Resolution Number 2019-095. Agenda items I-4 through I-10 are to consider approving resolutions numbered 2019-071, 083, 085, 086, 087, 092, and 093, authorizing the execution of residential demolition rebuild program incentive agreements for the owners of the properties located respectfully at 3135 Spur Trail, 13015 Wilmington Drive, 14522 Southern Pines Drive, 3546 Apple Valley Drive, 12806 Hallbrook Drive, 14339 Tanglewood Drive, and 3000 Eric Lane. In an effort to improve the quality of housing opportunities in Farmers Branch, the City Council enacted a Residential Demolition Rebuild Program 
pursuant to Chapter 380 of the Texas Local Government Code to encourage the redevelopment of existing single-family detached residential properties with the construction of new, higher-value, single-family detached residential structures. Each of these applicants will receive incentives according to the improved valuations of the home built to replace the existing single-family structures. City administration recommends approval of these resolutions. And that was it for the consent agenda. Here are the other items on the regular session before the council at this upcoming meeting. Agenda item J1 is to conduct a public hearing to consider the continuance of ordinance number 3578, curfew for minors, as codified in Article 2 of Chapter 46 of the Code of Ordinances of the City of Farmers Branch. Agenda item J2 is to conduct a public hearing and consider adopting ordinance number 3579 for a specific use permit and associated site plan with special exceptions for two drive through restaurants, a surface parking lot exceeding 50 cars, and on-premise alcohol sales located on the eastern portion of the property for an approximate two-acre tract at 2425 Valley View Lane. Agenda item J3 is to conduct a public hearing and consider adopting ordinance number 3581, amending plan development number 99 for 247 acres located generally on the south side of Valley View Lane, east and west of Luna Road, and 19 acres located on the south side of LBJ Freeway, 1,070 feet east of Luna Road, including amending Article 3, use and building envelope standards, Article 8, administration, and appendices as it relates to the development performance standards and its uses. Agenda item J4 is to conduct a public hearing and consider adopting ordinance number 3582, amending the comprehensive zoning ordinance, including amending article 2.9, accessory uses and structures as it relates to accessory buildings and article 7, definitions as it relates to modifying existing definitions and or adding definitions. Agenda item J5 is to conduct a public hearing and consider approving resolution number 2019-081 for a detailed site plan amendment for an amenity building for the existing office development of a 6.8 acre site located at 14221 Dallas Parkway. Agenda item J6 is to conduct a public hearing and consider a request from American Produce and Vegetable Company and Fresh Point Dallas Incorporated for final plant approval of the Fresh Point Edition, a replat of all of Lot D, Block 2 White Swan Edition, and part of Block B Metropolitan Industrial Park Section 1 located at 4721 Simonton Road. Agenda item J7 is to conduct a public hearing and consider a request from CADG Mercer Crossing Holdings LLC for final plat approval of Coventry Edition located at the southeast corner of Mercer Parkway and Luna Road. Agenda item K1 is to consider approving resolution number 2019-045 authorizing a contract with Groves Electrical Services Incorporated for the installation of entry monument signs at various locations. Agenda item K2 is to consider approving Farmers Branch Creek improvement options. Agenda item K3 is to consider approving resolution number 2019-091 authorizing the city manager to enter into a contract with XIT Paving and Construction Incorporated for the Brookhaven East Trail Project. Agenda item K4 is to consider adopting ordinance number 3575 approving short-term rental regulations. Agenda item K5 is to consider approving ordinance number 3583 amending the Code of Ordinances Article 78 taxation by creating new definitions pertaining to short-term rentals in section 78-76 hotel motel occupancy tax. And 
agenda item K6 is to consider adopting ordinance number 3584, amending appendix A, fee schedule, by amending chapter 26, businesses, adding sections 26-503 and 26-506C, establishing an annual license fee as well as reinspection fee for short-term rentals. In addition, the council may recess into closed session, but will then reconvene into regular session to take any necessary action. And that will do it for the July 23rd agenda. Every, every regular meeting of the Farmers Branch City Council can be seen live on FBTV. That is Spectrum Channel 16 in Farmers Branch, AT&T UVerse Channel 99 throughout the Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex, or online at www.farmersbranchtx.gov. This City Council information program will be made available simultaneous to agenda posting on the Friday before each regular City Council meeting and will air prior to the live meeting as well as before all City Council meeting replays here on FBTV. That replay schedule is at 6 p.m. seven days a week. All meetings are subject to change, so stay tuned to FBTV for any updates and more information. In the meantime, the July 23rd meeting of the City Council starts at 6 p.m. this Tuesday evening here at Farmers Branch City Hall. We hope to see you here. Until then, for everyone here in the studio, I'm Lauren Sanchez, and you are watching continuing coverage of the Farmers Branch City Council on FBTV. Please stay with us.